when you're growing up poor, you know, you'd look at the other kids with their new toys and went on, you'd lust for them. So you go home and you make your own. I guess the happiest moments for me would be when one of my crazy inventions would work. <laughs> I used to make my own kites, <laughs> things like that. I'd take an old paper sack you got out of the, they were only about, you know, big as a grocery bag. I have this thing called wild alfalfa when it dries, it's just light. And I would use that for the cross bends and I would actually sew them right to the stick. I'd spend hours on that bullshit. Finally get it in the air. Learn about putting tails on it and the angle of the string. And boy, I was just a little mad scientist going to work. Used to make my own little bows. Knew just how far to pull it and release it. Things like that. I really got into the Aurora models when I was a kid. And I think that's what um, rubbed off on me to become a sculptor.